Hey guys, Barnaby here and welcome back to another video. Today we do have Match Attacks 2018-19 uh, for the first time and I think for the first time on YouTube um, apart from on the Match Attacks channel. Uh, now Tops recently invited me down to their offices um, where I filmed a few videos for their channel, um, so make sure to check those out. But they did also uh, let me have some of the new match tags before they hit the shops uh, next Thursday. And so this is the Deluxe Starter Pack, um, which we haven't had for a while. They used to do Deluxe Starter Packs back in the day, um, but yeah, now they are back in this collection. And that is because of a general kind of repricing of the match tags collection this year. Unfortunately, it is an increase in price. Of course, um, following Panini in the World Cup, match types have also upped their prices. Um, but yeah, that does mean that this deluxe starter pack is £10. Now, that seems very expensive. It does also include um, five packs of match types. But yeah, quite a lot of money, especially if you're working in euros. 15 euros, uh, not equivalent to £10 at all. Um, so yeah, you, you guys are going to be paying even more. And inside here, as you can see, we've got a collector binder, play pitch, and collector guide. And on the back here, we've got everything else. Um, so there's also five match tax packets in there. There. Uh, now those are the one pound packs of match types which unfortunately now only contain seven cards inside there are also some two pound packs this year uh, which contain 15 cards but yeah if you're only spending a quid on a pack you only get seven cards now um, so yeah up the price by a lot more than inflation i'm not entirely sure why the price has gone up but yeah unfortunately it has and um yeah i'll put a poll in the top right now um so please do let me know if this price this increase in price is going to stop you from collecting match tax this season um because yeah obviously it's unfortunate that people are now getting priced out even more than before um so yeah, we've got the five match types packs in there. Uh, we've also got the collector binder. And by the way, apart from the increase in price, I do really like the look of this collection, um, to be honest. So yeah, if you can afford it, I think it does look like a top collection overall. Um, one of the best they've done in years, I'd say. And yeah, obviously uh, Panini also did increase their price in the World Cup collection. Match types are still slightly cheaper than the Panini Adrenaline XL of that collection um, per card when you've got £1.50 for nine cards as it was um, in the World Cup Adrenaline XL and um, that's about 17p per card. Uh, this collection when it's £1.7 seven cards it's about 14p um, per card and obviously you can get 15 cards for £2 which is slightly better as well. But yeah that's enough about the price, I'm not very happy about it, I doubt um, many people will be. Um, but yeah let's have a look at the collection now because of course I'm still going to be collecting it um, this season. So yeah let's get this start pack straight open and see what we've got inside. Alright, so, uh, it looks like we've got this kind of cardboard thing, yep, it's all on this back. And yet, here's what's inside this deluxe starter pack. Um, so, we will start off with the uh, kind of usual starter pack itself, with the binder and everything. So, if we get this plastic bag open, um, you can see... We have got a pack of cards there, but first we do have the collector binder. Yeah, on the front here we got Salah, Lingard, Harry Kane, Aubameyang, Aguero and Giroud. And yeah, I do really like the design um, this season. I think that front cover does look really, really slick. Yeah, 2018-19 collection. Uh, also in here we've got um, these tabs, which of course you can put in the edges of the pages of the binder. Um, to help you sort of navigate around, which is pretty good. And yeah, you can see on the inside front cover, we do have um, the checklist here. Um, so for each team, we have got, of course, still 18 cards um, in the normal collection for each team. Uh, and one of them is a fan's favourite card. Every team does have a fan's favourite. Uh, one of them is a star player card. So you've now got two special ones um, to collect for each team. Um, and yeah, all the way through there. Um, then here are the other sub -step. We've got the rising star cards, um, which there's 12 of them. Uh, then there's also 12 star signing cards. 
and we do also have another 100 club 11 so 11 players again this year in the 100 club which I think is good um, so we've got David De Gea for Manchester United Max Alonso for Chelsea uh, Hector Bellerin for Arsenal Jan Vertonghen for Tottenham and Cesar Azpilicueta I think some pretty good choices in here uh, for Chelsea uh, we've got Raheem Sterling for City, Kevin De Bruyne, he certainly deserves a 100 club card, and so does uh, N'Golo Kante, I'd say. Um, Manchester City's Gabriel Jesus, uh, there's also Mohamed Salah, he has made the 100 club, and well deserved for him, obviously. And Harry Kane is the final 100 club 11 player. Um, so yeah, let me know again in the comments down below what you think of those choices. Uh, we also have, of course, Man of the Matches. They haven't changed, and there's still three Man of the Matches for each team um, in the Premier League, so 60 of those in total. Um, we then do have Tactic Cards, um, so there's six Tactic Cards this year, and I don't think they've changed at all, actually. You've got the Referee, Agent, Base Card Boost, Scout Card, Injury Card, and Possession Card. Um, and then we do have the Megaton exclusive cards. Now these are on the checklist this year, um, so really part of the collection. Um, but you've got Premier League title winners, um, so you can see various Premier League title winners there. Uh, elite attackers, top defenders, and international stars. Um, so of course there's 15 of those um, in each Megaton, and a total of 60 of those to collect. And then we do have limited edition cards. So they have actually changed the gold, silver, and bronze limited edition system um, this season. And in my opinion, they have changed it for the better. It's still uh, a bit of a rip-off, I'd say. Um, it is still, you do have to spend quite a lot if you want to collect the limited editions, but nowhere near as much as in previous years. Um, so the way it's happening this year, is John Henson, Deli Ali, Lee Rotane, and Paul Pogba all have a gold, silver, and bronze card. But as you can see here, all gold, silver, and bronze limit editions are available in collector tins, multi packs, lucky packs, the swap box, pro collector binders, and game mats. Yeah, so what that means is that in a multi pack where in previous years we've just had it that there's just one player uh, in all the multi packs, this time around um, you can get any of a gold, silver or bronze um, limited edition. Uh, so you could get, for example, a Jordan Henson, Ali Sane or Pogba, any of them, gold, silver or bronze um, in all multi-packs and mini tins. Um, but yeah, there's still certain products you can get them in as well. Um, but overall, it means that you'll have to spend less money um, to complete the gold, silver and bronze limited editions. I might do a future video um, just comparing the systems um, to make sure that it is actually cheaper this season. Um, but yeah, I think it is. We also do have these Superstar limited edition cards as well. Um, and now as you can see, there's seven of those uh, in total. And Sergio Guerrero and Piero Emerica Bamiang are the two in the starts pack. Um, then you've got four of them in the Mega Tin and one in the Advent Calendar as well. Um, so that set doesn't actually look that difficult to complete if you buy all the Mega Tins and the starts pack and an Advent Calendar. You will complete the Superstar Limitation set. Um, also on the back here, we've of course got the Swap and Play Tour and Tops Festivals. And um, yeah, the F2 Freestylers are going to be at the London um, Tops Festival as well. And moving on to the next item inside the starter pack, it is of course this kind of collector guide. And immediately there is a brand new thing in the collection. It is a new Match Attacks app. Uh, which they have released for the first time this season. Um, so we've had stuff like this, we've had Match Attacks Live before, um, but never in an app, and I think an app is a much better way to do it because people don't really use computers that much um, these days anymore. Um, but yeah, you can see, you can trade cards to get the best players and build your team. Um, and these are the code cards, they come in every pack. Um, and yeah, that gives you a free digital pack uh, unlocking the same amount of players um, that came in the packet you bought. So for example, in a one pound pack, you would get seven uh, real cards and then seven cards for your um, app team as well. So yeah, there is quite a lot of new stuff in this collection this year. And I think a new Match Tax app is a really good idea. Um, we then do have uh, kind of a guide to the products here. 
Um, so you can see a lot of prices have gone up. So um, there's the pack that is one pound or one euro sixty. That's got seven cards in. Um, but as I mentioned, there is a two pound pack as well. Uh, then the swap box uh, is ten pounds now uh, this season. The game mat is now five ninety nine, which is pretty pricey indeed. Collector tins seven pounds. Multi packs are still five pounds. Um, and then the Pro Collector Binder is £10, Advent Calendar there which is £20 and also Mega Tins are £10 as well. Um, then on the back here we do have How to Play as well and then all the way on the inside um, is the Play Pitch, uh, double sided Play Pitch this season. Um, so you just need one of them to, to be able to play match stacks. And then uh, we do have now just a lot of packets to get through. Um, so starting off, I know this is quite a long video, but there is quite a lot to talk about with this new collection. Um, so first cards in the start pack, um, the see-through packet this is. Uh, we've got Pierre Emerick Aubameyang Superstar Limited Edition card uh, with 97 on attack. And yeah, I do really like the look of these Superstar Limited Editions. And of course, they will be really good to use in your match attacks teams. Um, Sergio Aguero, he's slightly better than Aubameyang by one rating. He's got 98 on attack, but both cards only have an 11 million value. Um, so they are going to be lethal in match attacks teams. Here you can see we've got our first free digital pack there um, with the code which you can scan in the match attacks app. Um, and then we do have Rui Patricio, Fredericks, uh, Jack Cork, Proper, Perez, Johansson, Ben Mee, Tom Davies, Mkhitaryan and Bakuna. And that is the away kit card for Huddersfield. Uh, and then we do have what is basically just a multi-pack. But unfortunately, it doesn't appear to have a limitation card in. Um, so you do just get five extra packs in this deluxe starter pack. That is the only difference, as far as I can see, from it and a normal style pack. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it um, with the first one. And here we do have the Fulham badge. Um, then we've got another digital code. It'll be interesting to see if people are able to scan those codes from videos. Uh, I'm sure we'll find out. And then we've got another code card there. Uh, we've also got Lucas Maurer. Uh, of Tottenham and then Holgate and Diddy, Proddle and Johansson and Cavallero uh, of Wolves. And next up we do have uh, Leroy Sane, he's now got 87 on attack for Manchester City and I've got to say he deserves it after last season. Um, we do have Chris Smalling as well with 75 only on defence. Uh, Stephen Ward, Michelle Antonio, Nathan Redmond, another free digital pack there. And they've got Pascal Gross, uh, star player. And Antonio Valencia, our first man of the match card in this new collection. He's got 96 on his defence and an £11.5 million pound value. Um, so a pretty good defender there uh, for Manchester United in a 96 rating. Um, ah, by the way, I will go through the odds on the next pack. Uh, we've got the Manchester United badge there. Another free digital one. We've got the new Chelsea signing, Kovacic. And then Jordan Pickford. And that is what the fans' favourites card uh, looked like um, with this kind of black design. Uh, then we've got Bert Leno. And Rice, uh, Rising Star, followed by Lewis Cook and Bakuna Awaker again. And yet, here are the odds on the pack. So, this is for the seven card packs. Obviously, the 15 card packs are different, but the 15 card packs, basically, all the cards are double as common. Um, so, in here, we've got star players and star signings. They are one in every two packs. Our club crests. Uh, also one every two packs. Man of the matches are one every two packs. And then 100 clubs are one in every 10 packs. And um, limited edition cards are inserted. Um, they have slightly improved the odds as well on gold, silver and bronze limited editions. Um, gold cards now 18.75%. Um, silver cards 31.25% of boost boxes. And bronze cards are in every 50% 
um, of boost boxes. So half the time you get a bronze and about 20% of the time you will get a gold. Um, then we've got Cardiff City's badge, uh, another uh, digital pack. Ashley Young, he's a good old rounder there with 76 and 73. Um, then we've got Ibora and DeAndre Yedlin, uh, Balogun and Manga and then Jonathan Hogg as well. Um, so no great cards so far in the opening. Can we change that in the final pack? Um, we do have Jordan Pickford, man of the match. That is a pretty good card. 97 on defence for him and a £10 million value. And then we do have Aubameyang, star player as well for Arsenal. Uh, he's got 88 on his attack. Uh, we've also got the code card there. And then Antonio Rudiger for Chelsea. Uh, Vincent Company, And then Idris Gay. And also Perea. And then Raul Jimenez at the end there for Wolves. And um, so yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. The first video of this new Match Tech 2018-2019 collection. If you did enjoy the video, please do smash that thumbs up button. And of course, I'll see you next time.